The next bead is the river of the Holy Spirit flowing in us. So that's the blue bead. That's telling us that the river of the Holy Spirit is now flowing in us. Because we've surrendered to Jesus and allowed what is true, the whole story of Calvary, of Easter, has now become real in me. After the rainbow bead, there's the green one, which is us giving our, ourselves to growing little gardens of goodness in the world around us. And those little gardens of goodness, whether they're a conversation at a dinner table or a walk with a friend, or even literally growing a community garden, building a hospital, or maybe it's just our career in the business world, all of those things are God's life in us, growing little gardens of goodness wherever we live and whatever we're doing. Which means that every part of our life can now be a place of worship. Our work, our home, our family, wherever we are and whatever we're doing. The one after that is another red bead. And this is where we give our lives back to Jesus and to the world around us in the same way that he gave his life to the world. In some cases that means being prepared to die for Jesus. Then the next bead is back to the gold which reminds us that we now belong to heaven and that that heaven is a living and active part of our daily life wherever we are we belong to heaven